my Gucci Sparkly Scrumptious Delicious Gemini. Welcome to your live tarot reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my baby. We're going to do your general energy vibe check in love. So we're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love. Who's out, who's in, who's getting deleted from the database. Ten of swords. Oh my gosh. It's like the tarot is just talking to you directly. Okay, well, somebody's getting deleted from the database. That's for sure. But good riddance, you know. They needed to be deleted, good boo. They needed to be deleted. So yeah, we're... Uh, to go back to your intro. But babe, you're, you're in pain right now, Gemini. I can feel it. You're in pain. Um, but there's new uh, good news coming your way. Eight of Wands. There's going to be good news. It's going to be okay, baby. It's going to be okay. Mommy's going to make, make it okay. So we're going to see what new fishes are coming in, who's, who's out, who's in, what new bimbo, himbo, uh, anyone in between you're going to be meeting on Tinder is coming through. The fool. Yeah, well, there's the new fool in town, baby. Somebody's going to be a fool for you. Let's see. Please show me angels. Also, my baby, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Mommy loves you so much, Gemini. You know I do. You know I do. If you know this channel, you know you're my a darling, lucky little, uh, shining little star. Uh, I work a lot with star energy as well. So you're, there's just a special place in my heart for the Gemini aesthetic. I'm a Scorpio Sun and Rising, but as you can see, I lead that Gemini lifestyle. So, Bill, okay. You know, you've been filling your own cup of love. You know, whatever here, whatever this was, you know, this ending, there was a lot of conflict here, and someone hurt you a lot, Gemini. And, and it takes a lot, you know, it... Look, Gemini is like the sweetest, you're like the sweetie pie, you know you are. You're just like, you have so much love and so much like sparkliness to give to people. And so much energy when it comes to love. You know, love, friendship, you're just, you're always a scrumptious little, uh, a scrumptious star. And this person just, just really, someone pushed you so hard that you, you know, you had to become like more of uh, that energy of the assassin. You know, you're, you're holding two swords, you know, you're two warriors. Um... That's your energy. The you know the Gemini energy is is two warrior brothers. So you know, uh, you're the twins, uh, and they have two swords. So it's like you know it's almost like you, the two swords had to come out because someone was such a douche flute to you, um, but Bill. Someone was a total douche flute to you, and and now you've been fulfilling your own needs and filling your own cup of love, and you're vibing with that Gemini. And maybe you know you feel you feel bad about something. You you still feel the pain. You still feel how this person misused you. You got judgment here uh, crossing you. So there is like you know either either that person, a person from the past, has uh, you know materialized back into your life, saying, "Hey Gemini," <laughs> you know that's how a douche flute talks. Hey Gemini, <laughs> this is my douche flute impression. <laughs> Hey, Gemini. Whatever. But, you know, with the horns and everything. No, that's me. <laughs> um, no, but you know what I mean. Like, someone's back or someone's trying to be back or somebody messaged you or they tried but you blocked them. This person, that energy is trying to come in. And just be careful, Gemini, because, I mean, are they actually worthy of you? Are they really worthy of you, Babu? I don't think so. <laughs> You know, I don't think so. I don't think they're worthy. This ended for a reason, and that person really hurt you. So just remember how they hurt you, and how how much it hurt, like how how it felt, the hurt, how much how how bad it was. You know, you you got the empress here it, uh, coming in. This is the energy coming in. There is a new person, emperor, empress, anyone in between. There's an empress coming after you, but Bill. This is no, you know, this is no trifling matter. This is the the emperor, the, the the empress of the world. This is the emperor of the world. Someone has like a lot of kind of expansive energy. Like there's a bit with power. They either have power in the material sphere, like in the mundane world, or they come with a lot of psychic or spiritual, or you know sexy power, like some kind of power. Like there's a lot of power. It could be scorpionic energy too. It could be a Taurus doesn't have to be. It could be like in their aura and stuff. But it is someone who's been single for a long time looking for the right bibu. Someone who wasn't willing to compromise. Someone who's looking for the right person. So if you're in the feminine energy, uh, it is an emperor who has been seeking out his empress or vice versa. You know, so if you're the empress, you, you know, you're going to come upon the emperor who, who has been seeking out that kind of energy. Sorry, the other way around. If, if you're the emperor, uh, this empress is going to appear in your life. Oh my gosh. Bibu, I'm so dyslexic. I always get everything. I cannot have two of anything because I always get it wrong. Ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is like, this is kind of epic energy, uh, Gemini Bibu. 
don't miss this energy. Be putting yourself out there. This uh, winter holiday season, put yourself out there, baby. Oh, I forgot to say, by the way, put it, <laughs> apropos of putting yourself out there, uh, music on the channel is my gondola official who is uh, totally putting herself out there in the sense of she glows and she is amazing uh, and she's a sparkly little bit boo so check out her channel and her music and her website in the description box below. My sister, she's the empress to me. But yeah, someone like that is coming your way, you know, someone who's just going to be glowing or, or they're going to allow you to sparkle. It, it's, it's an amazing energy, but put yourself out there, you know, um, at work, friends of friends, like, you know, in-person meetings, um, or it could just be, you know, good old fashioned Bumble, but it's going to be definitely, it's going to be a meeting that, that is coming soon between, you know, this is, so this reading is for December, 2022. You will be with a new person who is a total divine counterpart by March next year. This is what I, pro this is what I prophesy. <laughs> okay. Um, Oh my God, mommy is in the, the weirdest of moods always because I was just telling Libra like in the winter, I, I get so discombobulated with just myself because I just, I, fe I feel everything so deep like when it's like a four season kind of a country that I'm in and Gibraltar is four seasons. It is definitely winter and it's cold and kind of, um, it's beautiful and epic. It, everything here looks like Game of Thrones, like legit, but it's still like kind of like winter, oh, winter is here. I just feel it so deep, so I go, it's, it's like I go to sleep with all the birds and the bees, you know, I just want to be in bed, um, but yeah, but it doesn't stop me from getting into trouble, but anyway, uh, shh, what I'm saying is enough about me, um, what was I, what, what was I saying this, that it's like, yeah, I guarantee, so by springtime next year, but there is a feeling here, okay, so, but there is a feeling here of like, you know, a slight heaviness, and I was telling Libra, because I felt like there was heaviness in their reading too, this kind of winter style heaviness, or, or the need to transmute, uh, you know, any lingering sadness from the past with the judgment here, and rebirth yourself into a better version of yourself, so now is the time, you know, um, to put yourself out there, even though, you know, the winter time is, you know, to stay indoors and stay in bed and eat cookies. <laughs> That's my style of winter time. Uh, your task, Gemini, is to actually put yourself out there so you you can have someone to eat the cookies with in bed. I know some people will get will get triggered by this because crumbs, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, but, but the temperance is telling me that this is healing that's coming your way you're not expecting as well, Gemini. So you're, you're actually going to attain a lot of healing this month. Um, and while this healing is happening, it's coming from the angels. It's coming from your angel. It's coming from the archangels too. So do connect with the angels uh, if you feel called to because this winter season is for that for you Gemini people and the angels are going to bless you with a lot of things but but the healing is so important here it's like this transformation transmutation and it's going to lead you to a whole new situation this time it's going to be someone that you that that will hold you you know like they're going to hold you they're going to hold you up they're not going to let you go they're going to value you let's see yeah, it's going to be someone who's going to put in the work. It's going to be someone who's like, they're going to put their money where, where their mouth is like 100%. This is someone who's very, you know, could just be someone who's kind of rich as well. Like, I'm not saying money is the most important thing, but it could be, you know, it could be like, you know, maybe that's what's needed right now in your life too. You have the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles for how that's going to go. So, you know, I do see someone who's putting in the hard work. There's a lot of grounded energy here and a lot of not letting go energy. Um, it could be a little bit of an emotionally, like, you know, a little bit of an emotionally closed off boo-boo. Maybe it's a Cancer you're going to be dealing with. Maybe a Scorpio, someone who's a little bit more, maybe a Taurus, like I say. Did I say Taurus already? I feel like I, like I did. So it could be a Taurus too, but it's going to be very, very healing energy. Ah, boo-boo. The reading today is so beautiful and mystical. The, the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is meant to be. This is your soulmate. Your soulmate is coming in. This is going to manifest itself right now. This is your time to shine, Gemini. Allow it to happen. This person is going to understand your value and they value themselves too. You know, it's going to be someone who's ascended more so. And I'm not saying that maybe, you know, douche flutes in the past were not ascended. i sorry that they weren't your soulmates, but they weren't ascended soulmates. All right, let's see. 
Oh, safe and happy travel. Protection from harm when, when journeying. So this is your little magical card today. Uh, prote um, protection from harm in your travels. So, you know, this is your soul transformation journey. If uh, if you happen to be traveling, Gemini, if you happen to be traveling um, in December, this is very much someone you could meet on your travels, actually meet on your travels, or someone that you're going to meet on your journey as a seeker uh, and as a boo-boo who's following following their stars and their higher journey. So that's really important too, Gemini. I always say this, I think, you know, I maybe don't stress it enough, but you really, when it comes to meeting that high order soulmate, that really can only happen when you're following your bliss, when you're following your true life's path, when you're following your heart, your soul, uh, when you're aligning yourself with your with your, with your uh, stars and with the, the better angel of your nature, Bibbo. And I feel like you're on this path already. So, you know, you've been doing the work, you've been finding yourself, you've been setting the course, uh, and this person is going to cross your path right now. Now this is the time to build a beautiful, beautiful future, the future that that you have been manifesting. Mm, Gemini, let me know in the comments below if this is your story, but boo. And do you agree? You know, do you feel like, you know, it is so, like how important you think aligning your soul is with your, with your love goals uh, to attaining the love goals? Because I, I personally think it's key. Uh, there's just no way of getting around it, but boo. Um, Gemini, I love you so, so much. Uh, also, Gemini, if you vibe, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot my outro again. If you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps your mommy out as a small creator on YouTube. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me or are interested in any of my magical services, all the information is down below, my baby. Also, I think I'm going to do Vlogmas. I know I'm a few days late for Vlogmas, but I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to post another video video today um, and also tonight so we're, we're, you're gonna get like a whole load of videos today but I think I'm gonna start vlogmas today I don't know what we're gonna be vlogging about but it's gonna be like for like witchy vlogmas because I don't celebrate Christmas but and I you know whatever you celebrate in this winter holiday period so anyway <laughs> oh whatever like nobody cares what I think but yeah I'm just gonna start a vlogmas thing you can uh, let me know if you if you want me to address any specific topics you know with regards to spirituality or the cards etc 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 I love you my baby stay sparkly stay gorgeous stay moisturized and may the angels protect you mm. one more kiss mm.